themselves like they did in that movie. They showed themselves, then turned around and showed their butt to the enemy. They wasn't doing that. Now you see how they used to do our people? Get the book called 100 Years of Lynching and read that. Then you'll see what, what, what happened back there. It ain't no bygones, they let bygones. So all you up and down niggas that don't want revenge, we're going to take care of you. Now here's another picture here. Shalom, Yashara. I'm going to start out by giving infinite honors. To our Heavenly Father and our great King, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Howard Karkadash, double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, and salutation to my fellow laborers in the Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, pushing his blood, true cross, and for win. Shalom one of you, brothers. I played the begin played that clip because when um, the beloved elder Mashiach said that we we not going to let bygones be bygones for all the atrocities committed against the nation of Israel. And he said, you Uncle Tom niggas, all right, we got something for you, all right? And that's not him speaking according to his flesh, all right? Things written four times written for our learning. He's speaking in there according to the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai, okay? Now, the Lord told Ezra, don't worry about how the wicked are going to be destroyed, but seek out those that are likened to thee. And that's what we're doing, all right? We out here prophesying, preaching, and edifying the elect. OK, but when judgment comes down and the Lord changes us to a, another meaning. All right. Two thirds of our people are going to die by the sword. They're going to get dealt with because our greatest resistance in this thing of ours is two thirds of our people. You know, it's rare. We account Esau comes up with that bullshit. But for the most part, it's always a, a, a shucking, jiving, sambo, boot licking coon coming up, regurgitating the so-called white man's rhetoric. All right. And. The beloved um, elder, if you can receive it, that's King David you was looking at right there in the green, all right? He say, we got something for you. And when you read things a fourth time, we always have something for sellouts, turncoats, and traitors, all right? This is First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 7. He grieved also many kings and make Jacob glad with his, his acts. It's talking about the beloved brother Judas Maccabeus, all right? And when the Lord raised him up, to take down the Greeks when they were vexing us, okay? And he took down many kings, all right? The Lord was with him. He, had, he won many battles, okay? And his memorial is blessed forever. He, hey, the things he done uh, is is been uh, a memorial all the way down to us, all right? We read his valiant acts in these two books, okay? There's a uh, the Feast of Dedication, all right? He is the one commemorated and... Um, Implement, implemented that into our customs, okay? So, what it, the Lord gave him the power to do in those days, he 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 went up against Greece, all right? The spirit of the Lord was with him, and he took their asses down, but this also what he did. Moreover, he went through the cities of Judah. He went amongst our people, the Hellenized Jews, and let's see what he did to them, destroying the ungodly out of them and turning away wrath from Israel, you see? The, the, the wicked of our people that conform to the Grecian way. All right, he went and destroyed him. That's what Elder Masha is talking about. We got some for you sell out Sambo, Sambo Coons uh, that come against this uh, ministry. Okay? We got something for you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And it's not about us, it's about Yahweh Bashem Al Shai have something for you guys. All right? And he's going to. Uh, deal with you by the hands of his servants, the prophets, okay? He, he likened us to his battle axe. This is the book of Amos. Um, this is not going to be long. It's just when the brother said that, you know, man, I can't stand a nigger, man. I can't stand a nigger. Um, and I've been around them my whole life, and they the worst thing smoking. It, it's almost more barrel to be around an Edomite than our two-thirds of our people. All right, them full-fledged niggas, man. This Amos 9 and 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And that's what Judas Maccabees did. All right, he went through the cities of Judah and killed all the ungodly, those that threw in their lot with the Grecians, which say that evil shall not overtake us nor prevent us. All right, and that's the spirit of our people in. They don't think it's going to come upon them. All right, they don't think water get wet and fire burns, okay? But they're going to learn. They're going to learn in the coming days. Every time they say an idle word against the servants, the prophets, when we are out there teaching in the spirit of power, Yahweh Shema Shai, 
All right. For every outer word they've said, they're going to get judged. All right. The Lord have angels uh, marking their answers. OK, this is uh, Second Chronicles. Chapter 15, I'm going to start at verse 12. OK. And it's written. And they enter into a covenant to seek the Lord, the power of their fathers. See, Yahweh Shema Shah, the power of their fathers with all their heart, with all their soul. And that's what us brothers are doing right now, all right? That's why you see us out there prophesying. You see us out there uh, building up the elect, okay? Building ourselves up, seeking the Lord where he may be found, all right? That's what the church is doing right now, all right? We are in that same covenant that they were in the ancient world. This is what the elect men did in the ancient world. And that whosoever would not seek the Lord, thy power of Israel shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. That's what that brother talking about. Got some for you, Uncle Tom's. All right. Death going to wait your asses. All right. It's a terrible thing to fall in the hands of Yahweh by Shema Mashiach. It's a terrible thing to reject his servants, the prophets. All right. The Lord has commanded us in the book of Sirach that you are supposed to revere his priests, man. OK. And if you what happens when you don't revere his priests? Right, I don't know exactly where it is, but we could find it. Okay, I know it's an apocryphal somewhere. All right, um, where is it? Bear with me. Here we go. This Iraq seven and twenty nine. It is written, fear Yahweh by Shemuel Shai with all our soul, okay? And the way you fear him, you keep his commandments. You do what he tell you to do, all right? You, you seek him while he may be found. You learn these scriptures. Get built up on your most holy faith, all right? And that's how you fear the Lord. To fear the Lord, when you fear the Lord, he gives you wisdom and understanding, okay? And reverence his priest, okay? And reverence his peace. I mean, that means respect them, honor them. We give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and the men that were before us, the elder bishops, all those men that was before us. And what happens when you don't reverence them? And what happens when you don't respect them? He's, the Lord say it's a righteous thing for him to bring tribulation to those that trouble thee. Okay? Love him that made thee with all thy strength and forsake not his ministers. Okay? And the, our people are doing the complete opposite. They curse us. They call us rapists. All right? They call our great king Beelzebub. They call us pedophiles, okay, just for teaching the truth of the scriptures, all right? So a judgment await those that move in their spirit, all right? That's what that brother mean. He say, hey, we got something for y'all. Yeah, we got something for you niggas. Laugh now, you're going to cry later, all right? This is uh, the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse 10. All right, and it's written, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. All right, and the reason our people are getting slaughtered because our sins have separated us from Yahweh by Shema Shah. All right, now the Lord has given us his glorious gospel to bring Jacob back unto him. But you still have this great number that reject, all right? His hand is stretched out and they're rejecting him. So they're going to be slaughterhouses. They're, it's, it's a... Uh, the Lord created vessels of honor and he created vessels of dishonor. Those vessels of dishonor, all right, something treacherous and dreadful is about to happen in them in the coming days. We about to see our people suffer like they've never suffered before. Man, what happened on Chateau Slavery on the plantations, man, that's going to be child's play compared to what's about to happen in these coming days. But I would bring them with a the mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof, all right? And our people in the spirit of Egypt, all right? In, 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 in um, ancient Egypt, we were delivered out of there, okay? But in, in modern day Egypt, only the elect gonna get de delivered. And when the Lord smite Egypt like he did before, all right? He's gonna, two thirds of our people gonna get smitten in that motherfucker, all right? Those who love lies and forgot Yahweh Bashem al Shah. Either shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. And that's what the elder was talking about. That's what King Dawada was talking about, man. Malak Dawada. Okay? We got something for you niggas, man. 
We got something for you niggas. That's why we working out our own salvation for fear and trembling, because we don't want to be on the opposite end of that judgment, man, because it's coming. All right. This is uh, the book of Jeremiah. And um, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's what we doing. We know how the Lord get down. We out here persuading men. We letting you know what's coming down the pipe. And if you don't reject it, take your lick. This is uh, Jeremiah 5 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait. And as he that set of snares, they set a trap. They catch men. All right. They do, they do the bid another week. And they're their father, the devil. Okay. These pastors, pulpit pimps. All right. These rappers and shit, they help uh, set these traps and snares for our people, man. They lay down these uh, lies and fallacies to get rich so they can wax fat to uh, keep our people in derision, okay? The Lord is about to annihilate them, okay? The Lord is about to annihilate them, annihilate them and everyone that's jo joined them to them. It's 1 Maccabees 1 and 11, okay, and it's written in those days, Went out of Israel, wicked men. Those wicked men are back in their lots in this, these modern times right now. Everybody who rejects this truth, you fall in that category of wicked men who proceed, persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are around about us. All right, everybody that was celebrating thanks, thanks killing, everybody that's going to put bring Christmas trees in their house and put presents under the Christmas trees. All right. You are the ones that made a covenant with the heathen. For since we departed from, we, we have had much sorrow. Okay. So these are the people, everybody that conforms to Westernization, Greek Hellenization. All right. The, the way of the Romans, the, you are the ones the Lord is going to destroy. We have put out these, uh, polluted garments that we learned here in America. We've, uh, changed our diet. We changed our way of doing things. All right. We become new creatures in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right. But if you're a proud American, all right, and you rocking according to the uh, this beast system. All right. Let's see what the Lord say happened to those that make that covenant with this beast. This is our uh, revelation. All right. Chapter 16 and, and verse two. And what does this, bush, this beast push? It pushes philosophies. All right. Westernization. The, the educational industrial complex. This is what pollutes you. That's the covenant you make with this place. When you believe the lies the so-called white man has taught you. And the first went, talking about the um one of the archangels, and poured out his vial upon the earth. These vials are full of judgments. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon them, which had the karagma, the mark of the beast, and upon them that worship his image. All right? Because you could... Don't get that karagma, but still worship his image, okay? And when when you worship his image, that means you're just conforming to Western philosophies. That's the, the, just like our people did in the ancient world and made that covenant with the heathen. That means you've uh, partaken in that covenant with the heathen and living the, uh, and, and choosing the ways of the, the so-called white man, okay? And the Lord, what did the Lord say? And he's going to put a noisome and grievous sore on you, all right? And it's going to be a cancerous sore for those that put those uh, microchips in them, all right? And they're going to, those radiation impulses that's going to um, gyrate from them, all right? They're going to, you're going to get cancerous sores and boils on your fucking asses, okay? And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and the sea became blood as dead men, and every living soul died in the sea, all right? The Lord is going to kill everybody. The sea represents the people, man, all right? You people are going to die. That's what that brother mean when we got something in store for you, boy. All right? It's a righteous thing to hate the wicked. It's, it, Amos 5 and 15 say, hate the wicked, wicked, love the good. All right? The sinners of our people are wicked. Amongst our people are found wicked men. They got to go. We, when we build this in the kingdom of heaven, when that new Jerusalem comes down out of heaven, all right, we're not going to have gainsayers, naysayers. All right? In our kingdom, everybody's going to be under one vibration. Everybody's going to agree. That's how you build a kingdom. Everybody has to be of one mind. You can't have one person thinking on this wise, another person thinking on that wise. All right. You got some people having a heart for the heat and no, they got to go. Anybody that does not get down with this administration, you out of here. We're going we're gonna to rock out like Castro did when he came into power. Anybody that's not with 
this uh, new way of living that we're instituting through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh our great king. We're going to be behind him. You get that new government that's going to be on his soldiers. All right. What he say? Bring them hither and slay them before me. Those that wish not that they want me to rule over them. And we're going to do it with pleasure. We're going to do it with pleasure. It's going to be an honor to do it. All right. This is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 30. All right. And it's written, And when thou art spoiled, what would thou do? Though thou close thyself with chrism, chrism, crimson, salakia, so like though thou decorest thyself with ornaments of gold, thou, though thou rendest thy face with painting, in vain shall thou make thyself fair. <laughs> Everything you do over here to make your life better, the things that you're doing to, to get comfort in, all right, to uh, make your life um, more easy in Babylon, you're, gonna, you're doing it in vain. Getting your 401k, working all those overtime hours, starting your business on the side, all that shit, all right? That's, you're doing it in vain, all right? Uh what that is, Proverbs 11 chapter. Uh, he that buildeth the house, if the Lord is not willing, he buildeth in vain. That's what you niggas are doing, okay? Thy lovers with the spies, the so-called white man is going to turn on you niggas. And we love it, all right? You that, you, you that regurgitating his rhetoric, all right? You always come against us with things that he taught you. He going to turn on y'all asses. And they will, they will seek thy life. And that's a beautiful thing, man. Y'all gonna y'all betray Yahweh by Shema and the so-called white man gonna betray y'all. For I have heard a voice as a woman in travail in the anguish anguish of her that bringeth forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion, that bewaileth herself, that spread of her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is weary because of murderers, all right? And that's what was about to happen, man. With two thirds of our people are gonna perish. All right. The Lord is about to judge the wicked of his people. All right, and that's what that beloved brother, that beloved elder, uh, our great king, Malak Dawada, was saying on that clip, we got some for you turncoats, okay? We got some for you that raise your heel against Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right, y'all gonna be righteous in the kingdom, but right now y'all got judgment awaiting you, and we don't wanna be on that judgment. That's why we are that hope for elect number, and we're doing what it takes to turn away the Lord's anger for us, and, and we pray that our sacrifice is a sweet savior to him so he can have mercy on us, man. So with that, I'm going to give infinite honors to our Heavenly Father and our great King, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, our Kakadash, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone, and salutation to my fellow laborers in the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, pushing his beloved true cross to four winds. Kwame Yashirala, Abba, Abba, Abba.